It's our final day exploring in Bali for this trip. 24 crazy hours in Uluwaru to wrap things up and what a journey it was. Those are the offerings. Rebels, guys. Oh, okay. Now you're good, bro. You're good. You're good. Ulu is a super cool area known for its underwhelming temple, some beach clubs and surf. So obviously we check those out. Along the way, we also managed to find the best coffee in Bali. Yep, you heard that right. We've been having a coffee a day, if not more. Accidentally go storm chasing. Ready! Find a shoe thief. Remember that one that tried to steal your shoe when it was still on your oh. foot? <laughs> go off piste. Somewhere. Don't really know where we are or what's going on. Get drunk. Maybe a little bit of blowout on some of the alcohol. I blew out on the sangria, okay? And it's <laughs> Hard to vlog right now. <laughs> and almost have our scooter disappear. Please, 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 please. Good times. <laughs> totally worth it though. <laughs> Come check it out. We've been on the road early this morning trying to beat the crowds. I tell you, it's a big difference. There's like nobody from when we arrived yesterday. Crazy. So we arrived in our villa yesterday. It's called the Impossible. It's like a guest house. I think there are 12, 8 villas or something. I don't yeah. know. We booked it on Airbnb. It's got like the standard swimming pool in the middle, the open air kitchen and stuff. And this is the room. Pretty basic really, but this was I think 125 New Zealand dollars a night which I'll let you be the judge of what kind of value that is compared to some of the other ones that we've uh, we've shown over the last wee while. Uh, this is the bathroom. I think, from memory, it's a little bit more expensive in this area, in Uluwatu. But a really good thing about it is the location. So we were able to walk straight down onto, we should have looked into this, it's either Bingen or yeah. Bin, Bingen Beach, I'm not sure, but tiny, a really cool scene down there. Great views. And really good food. We went to a place called Kelly's Warong and it had really, really it good food. It was so good. After a seven hour travel day, we are now in Uluwatu. We've never been here before. Thanks. This is like pure beachy vibes down here. Big surf scene. You can kind of understand why. Check that out. Nice, yeah. Looks like everyone just comes and chills out here. A few beers on the beach. Good scene there, eh? I like this. So when we arrived yesterday, we noticed that there are heaps of grab restrictions, which is like a bit of a pain. So this morning yeah. we organized our own bike. It's a scoopy. <laughs> it's not very good to be fair. <laughs> a little bit more dated than some of the others that we've had, but this is a scoopy again. The classic scoopy. Nope. Massive. But what was amazing was the cafe that you found. Suka Espresso. There's a few different options because we're back in an area now. I mean, the Gillies didn't have amazing cafes, but now that we're here, we've got access to all of those, you know, it's all of the brands and the logos and the great coffee and stuff. Best coffee we've had. Big claim, but this is the best coffee we have had in all of Bali. Yep, you heard that right. And we've been having a coffee a day, if not more. This is, this, this is our second one. And because of that, we actually got one less breakfast than we'd planned because we didn't need it because we're kind of, we're fueling up on the, on the caffeine here. And then this is the classic pancakes. That is, um, is it caramel butter or something like that? Salted caramel butter, obviously got that maple syrup going on. So we don't know how this tastes yet, but it looks bloody good. That's only 55,000 as well as part of their breakfast special. And then this is the spot here. Pretty cool, lovely people, very friendly staff and everything as well. And our first stop is uh, empty, which is maybe a good thing because we're so early. Yeah, we're at Uluwatu Temple, which most people come to around sunset, around 6 p.m. because there's like this traditional fire dance and stuff you can watch, but we're limited on time. So we just thought, why not come early, beat the crowds, see what it's like without a thousand other people. Okay. So 50,000 entrants. We've been told there's loads of monkeys, we have to be careful, so we're going to put our sunnies away. Uh, we've got our sarongs, as you would have seen, uh, that's just to cover up out of respect. respect. So Stace chucked on a long sleeve, and I actually had a singlet on this morning, but I chucked this on. Tell you what, it's hot for a long sleeve. <laughs> and also, also taking off jewellery as well, there's a sign that says you're not supposed to wear jewellery, so we'll take those off as well. And uh, yeah, there was an option to have a local guide that he said, you know, he can walk with us and, and kind of walk and talk. So if you're into that kind of thing, that's the option as well. But we're sort of just looking to wander and explore, enjoy the peace. It's almost like a big garden. 
think it takes like an hour to the big garden. Walk down to the actual temple. What's that? It's like an hour's walk, I think. Okay. He's like, yeah, it's my first victims. <laughs> no, he's pretty chill, actually. There's heaps of them out here too. Yeah. Hello, guy. He's thinking, nice rig, man. I might steal that. Nice sunglasses. <laughs> I think there's a lookout oh that we my. want to go to. Come on. Over there somewhere. Yeah, I think it's up there, eh? That's, yeah. that's our next stop, is somewhere. I would think it must be that, that hill there. This is giving me Nita vibes. Yeah, yeah. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, like big, deep, raw cliffs like that with massive drop offs into beautiful water. Yeah. Look at it! Um, I mean, at least it's not too hot. No, <laughs> nice, but we're wondering, is that why no one else is here? Because everyone else saw the weather report? Yeah, <laughs> That's it there. Kind of signs everywhere saying do not enter for worshipping only we're not really sure how far we can go in or what we're kind of allowed to allowed to do oh the view's incredible though everywhere you go but we're a bit confused at the moment yeah. laughing at the monkey on the corner here yeah. see, this one's a trouble <laughs> hey buddy sweet mohawk dude there's, there's another one wow speech though it's beautiful. It's not exactly like we were expecting. Yeah. I think we were expecting a bit more of a like temple. Yeah. But this is a thing. Yeah. So it's great that we can walk around the outside, but we can't go in because we're not worshippers. Or film them. Or film them. Um, but apparently this used to be even smaller. So when it first came about, it was teeny tiny, and then over time they've added um, a bigger temple and more shrines and things like that. So it's bigger than it was. Rebels, guys. Those are the offerings. Oh, okay. No, you're good, bro. You're good. You're good. Happy with that? I reckon. I mean, you were here first, so. <laughs> okay. Oh, he told you. <laughs> Fully thought we were doing parking out in the away from the sun, and it turned out to just be rain protection. And don't trust the weather app as well. Look at that. <laughs> Rainy season's gone. Get ya. Bollocks. <laughs> But it's kind of weird now that we've left there, I was just saying to say, I don't really feel like I got the shots. Like that didn't play out how I thought it would. I thought no. there'd be a lot more like, a lot more spiritual or we would see a lot more of the like the statues, the offerings. I wonder whether it is that we've come too early and there's not that like vibe about it, but. Maybe. I hate to use that word vibe, but you know what I mean? Like yeah. the, the ambiance. Mm -hmm. you know. These monkeys are not messing around. Where is he? Under there. Is he under there? Nah, he's over the other side. Sitting here like this, I knew he was under there. He got a hand on my jandal here and tried to like pull it off me. Like those heavy armors, huh? He won't leave. He knows they're real. He knows they're real heavy. So we're just basically hiding from the rain at the moment. This is this is this is annoying. Look, this guy under here. Yeah, bro, I see you. You scouting around. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Ready. Uh, we waited just long enough. Well, it's about 20 minutes in the rain. Now we're getting to a place called Karang Bomber Cliff. It's and like a lookout point. We somewhere. Don't really know where we are or what's going on. But uh, I think it's up that way. This is weird. Um, Easy. Really? <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Lucky we've got poncho still on. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Are you going straight to the middle? Yeah. Well, that wasn't too bad. So 
Jesus, we don't get like bogged down. Oh, <laughs> bottom down. Bit deeper than I thought there. Yeah, got my foot. Private land. Oh. Well, where do you go? It's been raining, so there's nobody here. I'm just gonna just do that and hope that that ends up in the right hands. Yeah, good karma, I think. Jinx, right? you owe me a bintang. We said the same <laughs> oh, thing at the same okay. time. <laughs> All right, let's just check it out. Okay. Wow. Oh. And there's the, there's the temple, that's where we were. Tennis courts, you can park in there. Beach club time. We're going to Sundays. See how we get down there? Oh, we take, we're going on this thing. Yes. I can't see it. Yes. Yeah. There's like a cable car that you have to take down to get down into the private area. Woo. Yes. Wow. Those colours are magical. I can't believe we managed to turn this around after so much rain. We have to buy punches. Quick pause on the menu there if you want to check the kind of prices to expect. 65 for a Bintang, which is kind of to be expected when you're in a paradise like this. Awesome. So fun. There's a, there's a shadow. Shadow on your face. There you go. This way. Here we go. So much fun. An amazing place to go to a beach club that's actually a beach club. Mm, I know what you mean. Yeah. You know that's actually got a beach. Because a lot of the beach clubs that you'll see in Bali, it's actually just about like one pool. swimming pool, and everyone just crams into it. Some of the pools aren't even on the beach. I have to admit though, when we first got there, I was kind of like, oh, where's Where's the pool? Because that's what Where's used the pool? To. <laughs> because that's kind of yeah, that's that's normally the thing. But um, yeah, really, really good vibe and a few different sections there. I don't fully understand about like. I which... think it was like in-house guests, cabanas. There was a VIP, VIP section, and then like day pass people that were just on the beanbag. So yeah. it's like lots of different things that you can do depending on like what your situation is. So the way that it works is you pay four hundred and fifty thousand per person. Yeah. And you get you get two fifty. Yeah, towards like food and drink. And the food and the drink, amazing as you would expect. So, so we, essentially, you pay like two hundred for your day pass. Yeah, so I kind of yeah. blew out on on the food element. I'm driving. Stay, you know, well, maybe a little bit of blowout on some of the alcohol. I blew out on the sangria, okay, <laughs> and it's hard to vlog right now. <laughs> <laughs> totally worth it though. <laughs> so I have to admit, while I've been having fun this whole time. I have been uh, thinking a little bit about the fact that I cannot find the key to our scooter. Uh, where might that be? Where is the key to our scooter? <laughs> Generally, the key to our scooter has been left in the scooter. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this particular scooter, this this Scoopy that we're driving. That I lie. It's not just the scooter. <laughs> There's been at least two or three scooters that he's left the key in. Yeah, so we've literally been down here. There's hundreds of people around. By now, that car park is probably full of scooters and we've got a tripod and uh, a, a drone. drone and a key sitting in the ignition. One way to find out. Thank you. Thanks. Please be there. There's the scooter. Please, 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 please. Yes! Yes! Oh, that could have been bad.
I hope you have enjoyed watching my auntie and uncle travel around Bali, even though they're silly sometimes. We always complete each other's sandwiches. <laughs> the next video is about 16 tips to know before you visit Bali, but none of them are about remembering your keys. See you soon!